these days right now are some of the most spectacular and most beautiful in the Alps. The weather is just amazing. I didn't have much time to use them yet, but now I'm gonna take those four hours and go for a cool hike. It's too bad, it's almost 12.30 now and I still have an appointment at uh, 5. I don't have too much time. I want to go on a higher one, which is this one right over there. Just taking the small glider. This will help me get down faster. Stupid that I only have four hours now. Okay, one, two, three, four hours until my appointment. Quite busy. That's stressful. But I think I can make it. Marlowin, he's well poised. <laughs> it says gums on this guy. I'm there, I'm there. Starting off right here, right now, the weather is perfect, so beautiful. I'm so happy to be outside finally. Look at the sun. I've been outside every day, but not as much as I wanted to be. It's one of those rare mo moments uh, in the year when it's three or four days of perfect weather in autumn, perfect hike and fly conditions. As long as it's still flat, I'm usually trying to run, that accelerates things. It's good to have what you can get. The time you can win here, the payoff up there, you can go easier, but that's maybe not for everybody because people have a tendency to go too fast in the beginning and then can't handle it, but quite used to that. I think I can handle it. Let's see. Uh, can you hear the tractor? Just past this guy when arriving with the car. Now I'm hiking up here. He's taking the same way, but the longer road. So far, I'm as fast as he is. <laughs> We're still being right at the beginning. I am actually going a little bit too fast. Nobody's coming with me, so find a tractor to beat me. That's the next road. Tractor isn't coming. I think I, I won. Yeah. thing I just really quickly wanted to talk about before I get up to take off and forget about it is that issue that some people have with me not flying with helmet or rescue sometimes I do in 95% of my flights take both of it but sometimes those 5% I don't and the reason is very simple I want to be as light as possible. I love this small equipment. I have a little backpack just with the most necessary things to fly, which is a glider and the harness. Cool thing about paragliding is that the 
the chances you hit your head, just very short moments. Takeoff, landing, passes by in about 10 seconds of an overall flight time of I don't know what. That risk for me, I can take and I want to take it. There's the summit, getting close. This is always full of sweat. 1300 meters of vertical now, which is good. We'd love to climb this one. There's no time right now. It's a Monday, it's a work day. Going for the small one to check if there's a takeoff. I know there's a place to take off, but only to the one side. That's not the one side I wanted to go to. So I hope I find something. Getting up to the summit, that one exciting moment. We figure out if the wind is coming from the right direction and you can take off or not. Doesn't look good. Maybe that is better. So that up here, in fact, is a little bit of a tricky situation because the wind is not really strong, that's a little bit of a cliff and that's the only place I can take off. I have to get my glider up here and then go down here. Make it over this and the glider is still up, no problem. <laughs> Okay, broke this thing. Another one that broke. Oh, that's not good at all. I always carry some tape with me and I try to fix that for now. Good thing is that this glider is a beginner's glider, so they have lots of lines, line attachment points. I'm gonna put another tape here just to make sure. That's it with the tape. If that doesn't work now, I have to walk down. That's quite some excitement, I would say. was a cool little flight, didn't do any spirals because my bladder is broken, so to take care about that, I have to break it more, I'm happy to be down and I'm still just in time, just just in time 
just just in time to make it to my appointment. So I might have been a little bit too busy up there to explain well what happened. I arrived at that mountain top. I thought this would be perfect. I can just take off from there. I've seen it a couple of times before, but never brought my glider before. So I thought this is gonna be easy. Put the glider there. The wind was not from the right direction. So only from that, it was quite tricky already. Then when I tried to pull up the glider, I ripped a few uh, holes in it. So my glider has some holes now. I always carry some duct tape with me or any tape and so I could fix it just for now so it holds at least just gives me a better feeling probably that nothing happens here even if you don't fix it but gave me a better feeling and then it was still quite hard to take off finally I made it out now I'm back down still almost on time to make it to my apartment at five <laughs> but that takeoff took way too long yeah, sorry for ending that one so quickly, but I was really in a hurry. And you should watch that other video I just recently did up here. And then for sure you should subscribe to my channel down here. There will be lots of adventures coming up soon. Stay tuned.